Today we're looking at testing different charge cooling fluids, our Speed Sauce, which is our 50-50 water methanol mix, and our Speed Sauce Plus, which is an 80-20 ethanol water mix. And um, we're here on the dyno, so let's see what happens. What a dynamometer is, is it allows you to measure the power on the vehicle by absorbing the power into these rolls here. The wheels will spin and that will absorb all of the uh, power from the vehicle and allow you to measure it accurately as the vehicle goes through the RPM range. We can see on the intake, the turbos are mounted down below here. As they compress air, the air gets hot. Um, that hot air comes in here and we spray this alcohol water mixture and the latent heat of vaporization sucks all the heat out of that air before it goes into the engine, gives you a nice cool charge going into the engine, allowing you to make more power without knocking. Uh, in addition to that, you get the added benefit of the high octane alcohol that's going in there. So it's an octane on demand, and that allows you to push more timing um, and more boost on these engines to ultimately make more power. It's a lot it's of power. Like 725 foot pounds, dude. Uh, we're doing some tuning, adjusting the fueling on the, the computer, adjusting the amount of ethanol going in, and uh, adjusting the boost levels as high as we can to get the maximum horsepower that we can. Yeah, they're doing a good job. They're operating the dyno perfectly, um, making their changes and I think seeing results. So what you see here is uh, the red line. This is without the alcohol injection. Max power on the ethanol, we're making 515. And with the methanol, we're making about 506. Makes more power with the ethanol. Uh, takes less of it and less corrosive. Um, I think it's a big win today to show the, all the testing that we've done, uh, showing the benefits of Speed Sauce Plus over Speed Sauce. Both are great for making power. Speed Sauce Plus just gives you that little bit of extra punch.